Hey there, Jay. Zero Pat Majerians here. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scenes. I'm actually outside for once um, because it's actually pretty fucking nice out. By now, you guys have all watched the Psycho Family documentary. Thank you guys so much for all the positive reviews on IMDb and the experience at the theater was unforgettable. If you guys have not seen that video on my channel, it's called Greatest Night of My Life, and that's not bullshit or clickbait. That's God's honest truth. I felt no better place to do this special behind the scenes video than the Morton building where the room in the Morton building got destroyed because that's what we're covering in today's episode. Also, before we get into this episode, guys, I just want to let you know in the description below, we have Psycho Family posters. They're only going for $12.99. Get one hanging up in your room. It's fucking sexy as hell. If you enjoyed the doc, be sure to buy one. I think we're offering a 10% off uh, discount code. You can find that on the Etsy shop website. All right, guys, we last left off with the end of the farming series. It picks up with Jesse's dumb ass going out, using that extra money from Uncle Chris to buy gaming consoles, a new gaming laptop, just so he can stream from this room in the Morton building or what's left of it. Basically, Jesse's holding on to his lies as he always does. Now, here's the thing with Jesse's lies. It's like, Jesse's lies are so that he protects himself because if he tells Sega the truth that he quit, he's gonna get fucking killed. If he lies to his dad, he's gonna get killed for lying. Either way, Jesse's fucked and he'll never be able to leave or do whatever he wants to do because the two options that he has lead to death. There's no, it's inevitable. But it seems when Jesse takes the lying route, it comes back on him even harder. So uh, Jesse's lies are gonna catch up with him again. We have us playing the Super Nintendo from Aunt Jackie's house in the room, playing Family Feud, which is just ironic, the title of it. We wanted to get as many gaming room uh, quality, good memories while we can, you know, stack them just so that when the room gets destroyed, it's like really really impactful to the audience and tears are shed and it just fucking sucks and makes you want he makes you want to kill psycho dad honestly that's what i wanted to do by the end of the series is i want the audience all the juggies to want to kill him basically i wanted you guys to lose your mind while watching the psycho series because the character that you're following is going crazy i wanted the audience to feel crazy by the end of the psycho series and i'd be really curious to know who actually wanted to kill psycho dad at any given point because the that means I did my job. In the vlog, delaying the inevitable, I love this scene where, and we did it before, when Sega did flips off the light switch. We had Buzz purposely rig the electricity way back in the construction series because I knew I would I was gonna have a scene where Sega Dead could easily shut off Jesse's gaming electronics with one flip of a switch. So in that, uh, the, the TV that we bought actually would go to blue screen and there was this fucking awesome scene from Lost in this episode called Lockdown where John Locke's in the hatch with Henry Gale, who's Ben Linus later on, ends up like fucking some shit up. Hieroglyphs appear and then all of a sudden the hatch shuts down and everything turns into this ultraviolet light and you see this hidden code on the wall. I kind of wanted to do a uh, little reference, a little easter egg to my favorite show where everything turns blue and it's just really fucking eerie lighting. I just loved how it looked. Next we had this vlog called Troubleshooters and this was a very real vlog because me and Korn were struggling to get a gaming stream in the Morton building. First off, we have no internet and it's hard to get internet in a metallic shelter like this so we had to run like I don't know if you ever fuck with Ethernet cords, but to find in what like 1,000 feet of Ethernet on short notice is very difficult. We actually had to link up like 10 Ethernet cords using these Ethernet couplings um, and run it through my window and across the driveway, and that was the only way I could reach it. Not only did I have to buy the Ethernets and everything, but I also needed PS4s for the giveaway, which cost over a grand. And then I needed a, a new capture card and I needed all the wires with that. And then I also needed a gaming laptop because I couldn't have a PC out here. It would just be too weird. So I had to buy a really expensive gaming laptop because they're not really, laptops aren't designed for streaming. I then also had to buy a webcam. It was just a fucking lot of expenses just to have the live stream out in this room. So this vlog was all about that. It was fucking hell. So there's a lot of money down on this uh, psycho video coming up because not only was it all the room itself, but it was all the shit that I had to buy for the stream, including the console giveaway as well but i knew i was at least going to be giving those away to you guys we even have this scene in the vlog uh shot through the door of uh jesse basically getting reamed out by his dad because uh, jesse's apparently taking off again today that's why he's home which oh it's gonna hurt so bad when the room goes jesse why didn't you just tell the truth anything anything guys i have some random behind the scenes uh they're actually not that random because it happened at this time but it has nothing to do with the gaming room I uh, had some fans actually come to the house and try to enter through the door. This was featured in the documentary. But yeah, they were trying the doorknob. Roll that shit. It's the day we're supposed to demolish the fucking room and have a PS4 giveaway. And you guys want to know 
why we have a fucking gate and security cameras. Look at what I'm having to deal with. That's their fucking car. There's the keypad. They decided to park on the grass. They were out. They were literally standing out here. Right here. They are now in the driveway, in the yard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is the back door locked? Holy fuck. Oh, I swear to god, if I see them come around... Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Look! Look! They're literally... What is going on right now? They're literally at the door. I swear to god, if she tries the doorknob, I'm gonna shit myself. This is real life right now. This is not scripted. What the fuck? Yo, this woman legit is trying the fucking doorknob. She is trying to break into my house right now. Oh my god. She tried She tried the fucking doorknob. Now what if what if that part of me was like, "Holy shit, is that door locked?" If that shit was not locked, she would have just been in my house. What the fuck? And then what would she have done? What would she have... The, the real question... These have been incessant. What, what would she have done, John, had she had she opened up that door? Ella's freaking out. I'm good. She, they're trying to... She just tried the knob again. The daughter. I think it's a mom and a daughter. I think the daughter just tried the knob. Had... She got in here. What would that been then been the next course of action? Jesse? Yelling for Jesse and I'm like fucking in my skibbies right now. Wait, what? So although I was pissed in the moment and it was very scary for me, I ended up going outside and meeting the fans and talking to them and, and we're very close now and I love them to death. I just told them, you know, it was something, you know, it was a little scary for me. The fans could have the best intentions of the world coming to the house, but I have no clue and, you know, when you're trying doorknobs, it's a little frightening. All right, guys, so it's time for Psycho Dead Demolishes Gaming Room. This is the start of the big three. So as you guys know, we have lots of trilogies throughout the 50-episode Psycho series. Uh, this was the start of the final big three. The reason they're called the big three because these are the three largest, most expensive psycho destructions leading up to the killing and the fleeing. So we wanted to go out really fucking strong. When it came to the actual stream, I made a judgment call like maybe a few weeks prior where I was like, you know what, if we're demolishing this room, I think it'd be really great if we did it live in front of thousands of people because we're only going to do one take anyway. And how fucking epic would that be? Always looking for ways to boost like the Twitch following and other things like that. Guys, if you hear what sounds to be so many fucking pounding on a punching bag, that's because... Somebody's fucking pounding on a punching bag right it's now. It's not what it is. It's he's, not what it looks like. He's demolishing the gaming room right now in in spirit. I'm trying. Yeah, but just can't get rid of something that's like barely there. Alright guys, it's time for the official stream to start and guys, I was freaking out. I was nervous the whole time. Like if you go back, the video's on my Rigid Gaming channel from the full, uh, full broadcast. But if you watch closely, dude, I'm so fucking nervous about what's to come. Because, you know, I'm just, you just gotta sit there and act like nothing's gonna happen. But there's literally gonna be a fucking backhoe driving into the room that you're in. Like, we could die. And that was a thought. Like, me and Corn, like, kind of looked at each other before and was like, yo, bitch, we could fucking die today. So I hope we're ready. And we didn't have Rigid Studios insurance at the time. So, Jesus, take the wheel. For this live stream, I knew I wanted the wedding of Damien and Emma. And the reason I came up with that is because I, I thought about it. I was like, yo. We got this demonic face on the wall, and we had this demonic head from Aunt Jackie's. And I was like, yo, this is too perfect. What if I put the face of Damien on Emma? So I was like, well, we have to fucking marry them. They're two characters right now. And I was thinking of Game of Thrones at the time, and every time they have a wedding on the show, somebody dies or some fucking horrible shit happens. So I was like, yo, what if we have Damien and Emma get married on the live stream, and then that's kind of the uh, catalyst for then the destruction. And we nicknamed it the Technicolored Wedding. So as soon as they get married on stream, then Sayo Dad comes in and it's a, it's a sign. It's a bad omen. It's also pretty crazy because as I said, Emma represents my mom and Damien represents uh, my dad where it's the angel and the devil. And it's crazy because the divorce started in this room and we also have the wedding of those kind of symbolic characters as well. So everything comes full circle. So because it was a scheduled live stream, this was the last Psycho video that I would consider was predictable. 
people. Um, everybody had a time when something was going to happen, similar to the incineration of the fan mail, and people also knew there wasn't a, there hasn't been a psycho video in a few weeks, and they also knew that Jesse was lying to his dad and it was going to catch up to him. So this was, I was like really nervous and panicky that somebody was going to catch us. So I had to get Uncle Larry here to uh, play bodyguard. And then once you know it, somebody fucking called us out. They ratted us out to the cops. I have some behind the scenes of that. Roll that shit. We're finally in uncharted territory. Every day is uncharted territory, but this is times that I never thought we'd actually get here. It's crazy. Psycho Dad demolishes gaming room. Keep my voice down because this is the last time that people will know when and where a psycho video is happening. That's right. It's predictable. Of course it is. Full room in its entirety. This is a goodbye shot right here. Farewell room. It was a blast making you. We got bajillions of dollars from the construction series and now it's time to uh, say goodbye to our little investment. We had some good times in here. We really did. Probably not as many good times as we could have. Okay. We're very busy. I mean, if we had this room like three years ago, um, it would have been yeah. the shit. We would have been partying in here. We would have had the land room in here. We did actually used to have a land room, but that was in the house. Um, I will miss it. I'm really nervous for this one. Um, my dad just got home from a golf tournament. We have maybe 30 minutes to go to the choreography, so I'm gonna make this behind the scenes as quick as possible. I'm concerned for this, this, I love these too, I love these as well, um, and it just sucks this whole fan um, memoriam here is going to kind of get uh, destroyed a little bit, uh, and that was not originally intended, I was just going to have this wall, but I want this wall now, but we can't move it, because then it's like, why the fuck did you move it? We have, these are three legit PS4s, we are doing a PS4 giveaway, that's not changing, so it's almost going to turn into a video game where we got to rescue and save the PS4s from the evil Psycho Dad. Uh, we're also having a nice Game of Thrones reference, uh, the Technicolored Wedding, which is um, e Emma and Damien's marriage, and uh, believe it or not, this is symbolic, because as soon as it happens, just like Game of Thrones, shit gets ugly, people die, it's, well hopefully not, that doesn't happen, <laughs> but things get ugly. Hopefully, Damien survives this encounter, um, and we can kind of like Jon Snow, bring him back, cut his face off, and then plaster it on Emma so they can have a really perfect union. This is what we want to do after this thing gets destroyed, but who knows what the fuck's going to happen. We might not even live to uh, release this, but you guys will see it anyway. This is a uh, laptop I bought for $450. I'm not getting my Mac, my the $3,000 Mac involved in this process. That's my go-to, the bread and butter. Thank God this works. We made sure to test the stream. It's all ready to go. We're going live in 40 minutes. I'm expecting to be the number one stream in the world. We're probably gonna have at least, at least 20,000 viewers pushing for 50. Not only because everybody knows the psycho video is about to go down, but also it's a PS4 giveaway and it's my welcome back stream on top of the wedding. Everybody, I told everyone you get plus one. Um, like I said, golf tournament, he won first place. Congrats. Hey, Hunter nice. Box trophy, sweet. I All gotta right. take a shit, so let's All right. it up. <laughs> um, but this starts and ends a trilogy. This is the stream trilogy. We had Psycho Dad Raid stream uh, over a year ago. Then we had Psycho Brothers Smokes Out stream. And this is our third one, the Psycho Dad Demolishes Gaming Room, which is all happening live, which is scary and intense because it's live. And that adds a new element. You can't fuck up. I mean, you only have one take at this anyway, so it's kind of extreme. We're gonna have Uncle Larry here in like 15 minutes to be our security. Like I said, we've announced when this is going down. Four o'clock stream starts, me and Corner in there. At that time, you could be chilling. I don't want you in the house, because then, I'm, God forbid, you got sucked into something, and you're like, oh, fuck, I need to go to the room. Um, so we'll have you, I guess, like just chilling outside for a little bit. Okay. You're looking for 425. Okay. So 25 minutes into the stream, you're like, oh, that's my cue. You're hopping onto the backhoe, starting up the engine. Or maybe you can even just be moving stuff around in here at first. So that way established like, oh shit, my dad's in here. And then, um, yeah, so we have you moving some stuff around. You know, I'm not gonna be a big stickler on when it comes. Cause okay. I almost want me and Corn to be surprised as well. Uh, Cause it's gonna be really difficult to be in there like, oh, <laughs> we're about to get fucking killed. Uh, so 425 moving some stuff around because they saw a vlog last night which shows the tool chest, all this shit up against the wall. So technically you do need time to be able to uh, move that stuff around. Right, right. So you're moving some stuff around, then you're gonna hop on the backhoe, 
be driving that around like around here just for a few minutes so me and corner just like fuck we're sorry guys it's, it's extremely loud we're trying to stream i don't know if my dad knows we're in here or not and that's an interesting question do you know we're in there or not um so we're thinking like eight minutes after 425 so, so somewhere in the four, somewhere in the 430 to 445 category that's when you're pulling it up and this will be the first strike we were looking at this shit up there, it is gonna be kind of hairy. I can get my bucket in. Do you get the bucket in there? All right. So we want, we want an initial fall, right? Like, we want it through the ceiling. I can't get it through the ceiling. Oh. Uh, um, well, I'll do. I'll do my best to get it and curl the bucket over I top. Mean, you have all the time in the world to do it. Okay. All right. Because it's the first one. I think I can get it through there and then curl it. I might be able to hit it. Paranoia is real, guys. The show must go on no matter what. It's all live, there's no going back. Okay. And, and with that, there's kind of some freedom there because you know this is it. You know, it's just get it done, get it done right. So claw through this, then you're pulling out, and then we're looking at it. We want to claw like center. So like, it looks like as long, you know, you can get that bucket in through under that. Okay. Um, just enough so that it, it's basically like, you know, right around here. All right. Uh, I mean, me and Corn were joking and we got really ambitious, but we had a life-size crane game where you try and scoop one of the PS4s up with it, but that's just utterly ridiculous. Okay, doorway, oh, right there, then dead center. Yeah, so that's okay. cool. And, I'm, and, and I want you to wait a few, I mean, I think it'll end up being a few moments anyway, but I want there to be claw, and then me and Corner are like, what the fuck was that? Like, we're shell-shocked at that point. And then we're just sitting there, like, not sure what to do. Everything's quiet as shit for, like, a few moments, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then the second one hits. Okay. And then we're like, WTF. At that point, then you're you're retracting the claw, you're, uh, you're getting out, and the chainsaw, what's the deal with the chainsaw? I got new blades in the truck, I just gotta change one. Okay, all right, so we're gonna then chainsaw Along here. I can't go there because you got electric lines here. Or It'll, over here. And that, go straight, no, that's straight where through I'm gonna, the posters. Do you remember where where Buzz put the electric? Was it low or high? Uh, low. It should have been low. low, low. low. Okay, okay, so there's low. nothing above your outlet. No. Sure. All right. Um, so it's honestly, it's even with. You want to go even with rigid, which is ironic. Yeah, you're pretty much right around the sign. Okay. Even, yeah, even with rigid. If it still exists, the sign could fall off. Is it a rigid? So, mm -hmm. um, and where am I cutting through? Oh, okay. So I, you want me to go through here, right? Yeah. Through the jam and take it across as far as I can. All right. Yeah. And just do your best with it. I mean, you know, really, you're the driver, so it's all at your disposal. Me and Corn are gonna be trying to maintain appearances on the stream, like trying not to like. Um, all right. So he's gonna get that rigged up. Once you saw, I don't know. If there's something that you can uh, smash this window out with. I don't know what it's gonna take. I got two sledges right That's what I'm here. What is that, the neighbors? Yep. But that's when we're gonna have you come inside the room, say your lines, um, that you found out that I quit my job, you talked to Uncle Chris over the phone, all that stuff. I'll go over it again off of the camera. Um, and then we think it's over, you leave, get back on the backhoe, and that's when you do the plowing of this wall and the plowing of that wall. All right, okay, my only question was, and I just lost it for a minute there. When I do here, I'm only coming in and hitting the ceiling, correct? Yeah. You're not pulling the wall in or anything? No, no, I don't want the wall, to, I mean, it could, it, who knows what could the happen. Same thing there, coming at curl. All I really want is the ceiling, yeah. Okay, I'll do the best I can, that's, yeah. that's all I can. But do. I mean, you know, show must go on, but still go through with the motions, even if it doesn't, okay. even if the wall comes down. 433 and 445, I, I'm on the tractor, Turn and then I come around. through, come in here, then I do this, then I do this. Yeah. Then I pull back, set the bucket down, then I get the chainsaw, fire the chainsaw up, come here at this mark, this way, through here. Yep. Then I put that down, then I go to the sledge, and there. Then I drop on my, jump on my thing, take that around, and turn it around, face it yeah, in here, and shut it off. You can either turn it around first, then turn it off, or you can just turn it off, do your thing, and then turn it back on, like or, or move it. Okay. It's up to you. I think we'll have you 
have it facing this way. That's what I'm gonna show ready. Before it's off. So it's off, right? And then you're coming in. Now this is where we get Psycho Dad's lesson. Alright. So at this time, who the fuck knows what it's gonna look like in here? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's all starting to become real in my head. I realize we got 30 minutes left. So you're gonna come in. Um you don't even like this all just pisses you the fuck off. You don't even care what's going on in here. All you know is just really, like, we need to see you at your worst. I mean, for you to even justify doing this in your head, you need to be at your ultimate worst because you're destroying a room with me still in it, knowingly. Um, but you found out that I've been lying to you for the umpteenth time on top of you had to find out from Uncle Chris, not even me, that I had quit my job. That I had quit this job that you had forced me to get. Mm -hmm. That this is whole entire series has been about me getting a job. And then I quit it, and then here's what I'm doing. Yep. And then you see a fucking long ass cord draped across your property. I deserve every single bit of this. So you're gonna really let me have it, like more pissed than we've ever seen you. Um, I'm gonna be arguing back, fighting back. And then it gets to a point, maybe after like a minute, where you said everything you need to say. Jesse's still not listening. He's being a little shithead, where you're just then storming off and leaving. Trying to shut the door, I guess. Yeah, okay. you know, who, know, who knows? I don't know if he'll go. But At I'll that try. point, me and Corn will be like, thank God he's fucking gone. And, you know, maybe you want to wait like 30 seconds before you start it back up. Um, just so we get that false ending where we're like, ah. all right. Room's still standing. The stream's still going. We got consoles to give away, guys. You know, Jesse's really, it's a sinking ship right now, the Titanic. But Jesse's sticking around. Um, then you're starting her up, getting in position, and then plowing the fuck out of this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just I remember yeah. again, safety first. Right, right. You guys right. got to bail. Juliet is the code word, guys. Juliet, Juliet is, the code, is word. the code word. But um, this wall is going to come in. I don't what know are how. You predicting. Far. I'm predicting. I'm not hitting it all the way in. I'm up. Right, right. I can't because it'll come this way, and this one will come this way and fold in on you guys. Right. Which I'm not going to do. I'm going to hit it low, and then I'm going to take it in and raise the bucket and hit it high. Just to give you're talking about the, the front, plow, the front right, bucket. Right. Yeah. You can raise that up and down. Yeah, and I'm going to try so to hit it low. I'm going to hit it low and high, cause low to bust the bottom off. Oh, so like even with the futonish. Yeah, cause cause then if I because when I, you come in with that, that's gonna be pushing that. So we got our cushion like even yeah. me and corner naturally gonna be getting out of the way. You don't worry about hurting us as long as you just go like up to the to the well, coffee yeah. table. Well, I'm not gonna, believe me, the whole impact will, will be worse than it really is going to be because I'm not going to come in that hard and that far. It'll be slow. Same with this one. Oh, you're this, going slow. Uh, yeah. Well, like how slow though? Because I want it to be. It'll I see, want it to be a shock. Oh, it will be a shock. But I'm just saying, it's not going to be hitting it at, at five mile an hour. This one you have a little more freedom with because it is farther away from yeah, us. That's and so. That's what I want this one to be at least buckled, so this one comes into this one. Right. So. Um. Right. So yeah, you do this wall, and then how long do you think it's going to take to get from there after that wall to over here? Not very long. Because at that point, once you go through I'm not, there, I'm not turning around and lining up. I'm all I'm doing is I'm going to hit this on an angle, right. I'm back of my ass end out of here, come here, and then swing the forks this or the bucket this way and hit it sideways. I'm not, oh, you're going to side swipe. Up. You're going to side swipe this wall this way. Yeah. No, I'm just going to come look, come in, see the bucket sitting out in front of me. Oh, I'm going to come like this. Can we take this down? No, I'm not even going to near that. My uh, bucket's going to come in. I'm going to turn my wheel so it comes right into the side of this thing and pushes it all this way. Can you get over to here? Yeah, I can hit that. All right, all right. So I want it to start on this side of the window so you can really get the whole... All right. Um, once you do that, um, then you're pretty much golden and you can just chill in there, maybe like re rearrange yourself. Me and Corey are gonna be taking the PS4s out. In We're gonna rearrange where? What are you talking about? I just mean, once you do that to the wall, once this wall is taken care of, then your job is technically done for the current time. Wait till like you can be moving around, like shimmying around real quick, or like operating. in here or out here, just around here. Okay. Me and Corn are gonna be getting the PS4s out. I mean, they might already be out here. You're just doing your job. Just be mindful of where we're at. Uh, like we might, depending on how long it takes for you to after you did this wall and then go into here, we might have the PS4s already out of here, okay. but be back in. We'll be, we'll all be watching. Watch I mean, it's pretty, you pretty obvious. Right. And basically, you're, you've become like a vulture and you're just like picking at shit. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Once you plow this room, ideally there's gonna be escape. If not, you know, me and Corn will have to be like, <clears throat> like trying to get out. We want you in, 
Because I, my guess is the TV and the laptop will still be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. So you're going to come in, whether we're coming out or not, and you're coming in, you're destroying the TV. I don't know if there's something like a fucking monkey wrench you want to grab or something. Security's here. <laughs> You just shocked the shit out of me. Um, Get out of your way so you can go through all this stuff. Oh, it's Uncle Larry, guys. He's our bouncer for this evening. You want me at the end of the driveway, at the very end? Or uh, the we're going to show you. Front? We're going to show you actually. Uh, we're going to actually use your car as a barricade over by the gate, and then we might opt for you to watch the more building side. Um, because the only thing stop, the only thing that they have right there is a trail. Okay. But there's actually enough room to park your car and, and uh, back Block up the trail. The, yeah, yeah. All right, gotcha. Um, so I'll do that, and then I'm going oh, to be. Oh, just ran off. Damn and it. then I'm going to be stationed. You just gave my dad an excuse to go poop or something. Yeah, he did have to poop really bad. He was telling me that he's like, I gotta poop really bad. <laughs> how, wait, how are we doing time wise? Three thirty. Oh my god. So I'm I'm going to back up and get. Yeah, we'll we'll do that now. Trail. Oh wait. All right, let me finish choreographing, and then we'll get you set up. All right. Oh, I think he's getting saw blades. I watched a video. Dude saws through drywall like it's nothing. You're gonna bat the TV. And then you're gonna kick the shit out of the laptop. Yeah. So like the laptop's pretty low and it'll still be streaming. That's your way of cutting off the stream. Like you need to make sure that you really like drop kick the fuck out of the laptop. You gonna say goodbye to the room? It's kind of sad a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's a ah, nice room. Hell with it. Hell with it. <laughs> hell with it. It's gonna have a great <laughs> finish. paint job that you guys did. <laughs> we're having on stream. We're having a wedding between Damien and Emma. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh gosh. Alright, so we'll get uh, you set up. Alright, Jays, wish us luck. We may die after this video. Um, if we do, I hope you enjoy the series. Uh, you had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys already know from previous behind the scenes how it ends, so just imagine that ending. Maybe somebody will make it for me. I'll still be alive, so all you guys sub yeah. to me instead, <laughs> since Jesse's gone. Now. Larry will be spared, even though he's going to die in a month. Yeah. For the <laughs> well, that's we only if you survive this. Yeah, we have right. to survive this yeah. to get so him Somebody's got to go. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> If right. it's not you, I'm gonna be like, damn it, shit. <laughs> shit, um, shit. it's gonna be me. I mean, you'll have another opportunity when the RV goes. I don't think that one will be as dangerous though. I'm freaking the fuck out because me and Corton are about to basically get sealed into our tomb. <laughs> and Damien is a fucking demon, so we're going to help. Just remember, anything that falls on your head will not be that heavy. Right? Yeah, it shouldn't be, right? right. If anything, one would... of the walls. Yeah, unless it's one of the walls, that's really heavy. Alright, um, which is luck, Juggies. I hope a lot of you guys are in the stream to witness this crazy occurrence. Neighbors are floating around. They were riding the dirt bike, so just keep a vigilant eye. All right, Jace. Fuck. I don't even want to end this behind the scenes, because then that means I'm <laughs> locked in. Love you, Jace Death, and don't forget to keep it rigid. Love you all. Rip Jesse. It can be five minutes late to stream. That's actually pretty usual. Um, just real quick, I'm going to show you guys. We removed the Eagles landing banner. We forgot we had the Halloween dick. This was a point I had to make. He's cutting th right through the dick. He's cutting off the penis or the uh, the balls, neutering it, just as Jesse's is happening to him. Um, so yeah, you took down both walls, right? Exciting. Me and Corn are filtering the PS4s out at some point in time. Don't worry about that. But Cops, once you cops are here. Cops here. Yeah. Fuck. You got the you got the foot button. Yeah. Here. I'll. Oh. Right. You want me to? Your driveway right now. Right. <laughs> you want me to stop? <laughs> uh yeah. So guys, it was fucking crazy. It was just with that little bit of choreography, um, we did mess up. You know, the, the backhoe was supposed to like claw off some shit, but the roof, as you guys can see, is a little too close. Um, so the arm didn't get to bend that well. But to have two angles, you know, we had the webcam of the destruction and we had Corin's camera. So to be able to cut between the two, I can make it really entertaining and intense. And uh, I'm shocked that the live stream lasted up until Psycho Dad came and pretty much beat this shit out of the camera like it was so great like, you get to see him like fucking drop kick it it couldn't have gotten any better and then on top of that guys like you sh you have no idea like for those that were in the live stream let me know in the comments but for the like 10,000 people that were in it the chat was going off the fucking hook. It was like, call the fucking cops, call the cops, call the cops. It was like group polarization. Like the whole chat, all it said was call 911, call 911. The cops received thousands, guys, fucking thousands of phone calls. Um, and this, 
this was the worst uh, time until the killing that the calls were that bad. I actually received an email from Twitch that said, hey, you cannot feign distress. You faked this distress and you're not allowed to do that. It's against Twitch regulations. This is your final warning, McJuggernauts. We warned you before, we're taking all your, off your shirt and Sega Dad Raid stream and also the smoke out was another distress. This is your last chance. If you don't, if you do fucking anything else on Twitch, we will ban the fuck out of you. So this sucked, it was super uh, scary. And then on top of that, guys, the cops were now up in our fucking face for the remainder, the final month of the series because of what happened in this room. Everybody believed it because it was so fucking insane. It was so insane to actually put yourself in harm's way to have, even for people that believe that it was fake, this one was like, yo, uh, either Jesse's absolutely insane in real life or this is really happening because uh, Jesse and Corn put themselves in harm's way to do this video. It's crazy, guys. And I'm super actually happy that we still have a couple walls and the floor. Like, it's kind of just a little, a little chill zone, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> Uncle Larry, as you guys know, was looking. Here, I have no voice. There, there was a time where I looked to Corn and I was like, this is it. We're yeah. going to die in here. Could you hear anything while you're out there? At first I didn't, and then once I guess the the main destruction started going, you were screaming so loud. I was like, I was partly laughing. You were laughing at my torture? <laughs> yeah, because there was noises coming out of you that sounded like some kind of animal or something like that. I was like, what that's, the hell is that? That sounds like Jesse's character, yeah. And then I, I kept on hearing, you trying to kill me? You trying to kill me? I was like, oh my God, what do the neighbors think right now? <laughs> they don't even give a fuck. You could have been killed. Uh, they don't care. They're like, oh, it's fake. No, it's well, I'm gonna actually die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he faked his own death. But no, wow. At least you got two good walls. Yeah. We can rebuild. Uh -oh. Damn, Damn Jeff, you know how hard it was to put that drop <laughs> ceiling in there? I just worried about getting nailed my tire my tractor. That's all I care. In your car. Look how close <laughs> this shit came to it. I was watching it when I slid it over. Luckily, a lot of the things wow. that I wanted saved, like the art, was all good. The consoles, the consoles were all saved. <laughs> oh, nice. So everything's good. Everything got destroyed. And at one point, though, I was upset. I forget which wall that got plowed or, or something hit the webcam. So it went face the keyboard. Uh, okay. But at that point, you're filming it yeah. anyway. And it could be a dramatic finish. Yeah, I but, tried to grab it somewhat early on. <laughs> and then I was like, I think this stuff's happening. Did I can legitimately grab problem it. problem in the beginning? Oh. Watch oh. the nails. Watch the nails. We were, we were off with the electric line. Look how high he put it up. Yeah, I know. That's what. Holy when shit. I see the wall, I'm thinking, ah, shit. Look how. I'm only a foot off or eight inches. Yeah, he put that thing up high. He yeah. could have been like, I mean, <laughs> it's like with that it's demise. No, but the problem was, is this is an eight foot ceiling. This is a seven and a half foot bucket. Oh, right. So I'm sitting there freaking trying to get it over. It's going like this. So then I jacked my freaking feet up as high as I could to try and, and that's how I could do it. Somebody already tweeted out that they called 911 after they went away. Alright. <laughs> after I went on Twitter to see what was going on, I was like, holy shit, dude, because I, I, I forgot they're watching this live. So they're all over this shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a little disappointing in the first the two calls. I yeah. Told you. That's what I was just telling him. It's seven and a half foot bucket, yeah. eight foot walls. I couldn't all, get over all it. All sudden, it, just, it barely did anything. We're just like, huh. <laughs> yeah, so we had to play it off like yeah. you accidentally hit like, it. Like, is it an accident? Like, I, I was don't like, know. No, we're in here. You just accidentally hit the room. Yeah, I heard you. I didn't hear Juliet the whole time, so that's all I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you heard other things that made it sound like I was dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you wanted to push them in, it would have been no problem. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to push it towards them, because. Yeah. That well, would have been nothing. Main corn just got the experience of a lifetime because that was fucking intense. That would have been like being in like a hurricane or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type, yeah. yeah. The craziest bit was the ceiling coming down because the, the metal beam <laughs> was like, <laughs> yeah, like whiplashing like this one. And they, they do have a little edge to them. They yeah. 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 There was one that was like right here, like right to my so, so at some point you took your shirt off, obviously. That was yeah, at the end. Yeah, yeah, that was towards the end, unfortunately. Was that when, when you were letting one of them sounds loose? Probably. Oh my God, that was like an hour <laughs> And it echoes in here, so it's really loud outside. I kept bringing, trying, like this wall, I kept bringing with the backhoe, trying underneath, but then I started seeing all the nails popping through. I said, ah, shit, that's gonna pop in tires. And no, but that was classic. You're trying to kill us! <laughs> or no, you almost killed us! Almost don't count! <laughs> yeah, the only thing he messed up was he said Uncle Chris called you. So you're supposed to call him. Uh, you're like, Uncle Chris yeah. called me. I was like, oh, you just threw him under the bus. Yeah, that's all right. It's Uncle Chris who cares. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like he has a YouTube page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we survived, thank God. 
That was the start of the big three. Next stop, the RV, which should be much better, but I'm jinxing it. The RV will be resting on a hill though, so there could be potential to push, push it, over. it over and get oh, it to roll yeah, down That would be awesome. Because <laughs> I was thinking about it, I probably could flip it over. Yeah, well, you'll see where it's at. <laughs> yeah. It could definitely roll yeah. down a hill. And then we could have a GoPro inside. <laughs> but you're going to have to worry about is getting yeah, hurt. Yeah, because those cabins will buckle off them walls. Things, oh, oh, things will be I'm, fine. I'm only in it for a claw. Yeah, you'd be out by then, right? Yeah. This one, we can definitely use the claw more. Yeah. So that's cool. And we put our lives on the line for your quality entertainment. And you say, I don't care. All right, Jays, love you to death. Don't forget to keep it rigid. So Jesse's dad destroys the room, and in this vlog called Mayday Mayday, Jesse actually is able to save the PS4s. Not only do I save all the giveaway PS4s, but somehow the PS4 that I was, uh, we were playing on for the live stream was fine. And this was given to me by a fan, and I made the fan a promise. I was like, dude, even though this series is about destroying consoles, I will make, I will ensure that the PlayStation 4 survives everything. So Jesse's freaking out on his dad, and he goes to that classic place. It's called Uncle Larry's house. That's right, guys. Even with our relationship as, as it was at the time, Jesse sort of ditched Uncle Larry when he was doing the odd jobs in the farming series, and, you know, there was a huge wedge in that relationship. Relationship. But Jesse had nobody else to turn to so he goes to Uncle Larry's house We even get this shot of I'm sorry on the window, which is classic for whenever shit goes wrong We either see I'm a psychopath or I'm sorry like Uncle Larry is able to look past everything and, and just focus on helping Jesse Uncle Larry offers up the RV to stay in just for now And this is setting us up for the dark the dark Eagles landing This is the last video we're gonna cover guys. It's called running away This is one of my favorite vlogs whereas before Eagles landing started Jesse got kicked out He was forced out of the house House, and it was a bad thing, but he able to, he was able to turn it into a good thing. Now in running away, Jesse is willingly throwing himself out of the house. He's running away from home. He is taking, the eagle has taken flight. He's had enough, and uh, honestly, this was one of the greatest decisions he's ever made was to get away from his house. Like, he's finally doing it. He's strong enough. In this video, Jesse makes a valiant return home to get some of his things, and he uh, borrows Jeffrey's laptop. That's right. This is the third time he borrows Jeffrey's laptop. I wonder what will happen to it. There's this super fucking badass scene where Jesse uh, goes into the living room. He actually takes the gun in the flag, so all of a sudden the Damien part of him takes over, and the demonic force and the and the, the vengeful uh, version of his dad, the destructive force, and Jesse just like goes to the fire like he's possessed and, and takes a fire poker and then just fucking drives it into the TV, smacks the shit out of it, and then drags it down. This was my family's actual big screen, so this was a big prop to destroy, but I ha I couldn't help myself. It's such a fucking great scene. And then I take the gun and the flag, and I grab my sword as well. So this dude's fucking badass. It really feels like Jesse's not looking back, and like I said, I was talking about that force, that, that vengeful, psycho dad destructive nature. Jesse, you know, Jesse got that from his dad, and it's also represented by Damien. Then Jesse comes outside and finds the wall that Damien was on and actually cuts his fucking face out, which is absolutely batshit crazy, guys. We even have classic Jeffrey comes out when, when the TV got destroyed. He comes outside and is, uh, with his camera. So it's like season one Jeffrey was like, what's going on? I wanted to get some video of it. Um, but it quickly like kind of puts the camera down and gives me a hug and we have a sentimental moment because uh, it seems like Jesse won't be returning. Jesse also manages to grab Emma's head from the destruction of the gaming room. Craziness, guys. You're starting to see Jesse start to lose it a little bit and kind of act evil or, you know, take after his father. But guys, also forgot to mention, although the uh, although Jesse's running away, he still has the ponytail, not only for, for badassery, but he never actually runs away, runs away. You know, he, he only goes within like five minutes. Like he's still obviously staying close to home. Like he's still controlled by his father and that influence. All right, Jays, hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. Drop some likes on this video if you really love the demolition of the gaming room or if you felt really sad about it and uh, you also love the running away vlog, or if you would like another console giveaway to happen, you'll never know. But all right, Jays, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Next episode, we'll be trying to cover the entire Survival Series 2.0, and then we're into the final weeks of the series. Love you, Jays of Death, and don't forget to keep it rigid.